Hi, welcome to my next YouTube video. In this video, I will be covering about five of the EMEA uh, faction uh, battles of me as Ultra League Specialist uh, for the EU Empress. Uh, my opponent this time, Lucas uh, VEB uh, from Sky Dragons Gaming. Uh, looks like a very fun bout. Let's see real quick who my opponent is here. My opponent, uh, at first look at this, looks like he's a great fan of, of Cresselia. He didn't have many excels and he's, he's having a tough season so far. So I really expect him to, uh, to uh, you know, to get a comeback here, to go for it. Um, on top of that, I don't see any Chiefis on his line. So I was positive that he would not bring one uh, this this time around. Uh, as you can see, I brought double flyer. I brought a Pidgeot as well. Uh, I like my Mandibus. Mandibus... Uh, I don't know it just just does really well against uh, against like fighters too. You know that's that's what I like many bus for over Umbrian. Um, what else we see his Cresselia. As I said, he likes Cresselia. He's a G Fisk. Uh, not great for my flyers, uh, but I gave my Mandy bus uh, Snarl plus Dark Pulse for that, so I still have a positive matchup against it. Actually, Mandy bus is a Pretty good matchup against everything basically uh he brought a scrafty scrafty never really has been the thing uh against one of my lines i always bring a9 for giratina uh slash scrafty or dark coverage now uh, he brought altera to altera looks good but risky let's say i bring, bring polytoad um, altera is the perfect wall for it because i do run earthquake um and other than that uh he has a needle queen too and a swampert uh swampert is better for my polytel though i'm pretty sure i lose the zeros uh at least especially when he has an energy advantage so swampert's not bad either especially if he avoids my cresselia my cresselia is grass not too <clears throat> so let's dive into this bounce i lead stunfisk into the mirror i've played this a lot today because it was today was a go battle day for us um, and i usually like to bait here he tries to catch it on Cresselia. Um, I kind of flinched there for a bit, so I have like three psycho. He has like three psychos advantage. Uh, my Manibus is a, a decent answer, but the Moonblast is really chunk. I do hear um, that usually only players from California should do, um, which is throw an alignment and deny every single move. Uh, I feel sorry for him that this works worked literally literally every time. Uh, you can see that he times his move really well, right? Uh, as a two-turn uh, move user. The best thing you can do is throw four psycho cuts and then four my three snarls, right? Uh, that then I only gain one turn, and that's basically uh, to a big advantage of him. But uh, me, I should throw like like one snarl for two my two psycho cuts, and I just throw an alignment here, uh, which is risky. He can get an extra in. He brings in the G Fisk, but did not throw a move, so I stop and immediately throw an earthquake. He's already. Uh, he already used one shield, so I don't know if he wants to shield again. I'll no shield this. I don't think I need my G Fist that much anymore. I would get survive and get to another one either way if he would shoot. And I'm throwing rock slides basically to chip him into farm down range for my Chris. Um, I think he tried to bait out my Mandy with the uh, Cresselia, but um for this, right? The Mandibus kind of is a Scrafty answer, but only really with Air Slash, because Scrafty can basically kind of just go full power punch through my Mandibus. Um, he didn't see me shield, but I was doubting a lot. He tries to catch, I swap. I don't want to throw my energy into this, so I'll go uh, into Mandy and throw the Arrow Ace, revealing, revealing my full moveset. I mean, it's probably obvious that I have Arrow Ace with it, though. Yeah, I mean, I need it for a Scrafty, right? And this uh, Aerial Ace is nice because that brings him into Moonblast range. Moonblast does about 75% uh, to the Scrafty. Uh, after this, I don't expect him to bring the the Scrafty anymore. We don't know the second move yet on that Cresselia at this point. Uh, I s <laughs> flipped my mirror there because I was sharing Discord to a Savage Boy, uh, our Master League Specialist. Yeah, what do I use there? Uh, fun fact, I was actually using Blizzard, running Blizzard on <laughs> on A9, I, I believe, uh, because there's a better matchup against uh, G Fisk and Cresselia, and it's probably unexpected too. Uh, it does make Scrafty much worse, so I'm afraid to lead. Like, I don't want to really swap in my my Mandy or my A9 into Scrafty, because let's say he pops all the way up. Uh, he does massive damage to anything, 
right? Like five times boosted counts to do a lot to anything. Uh, Mandy into Crescenia, that's good for me. Uh, he swaps into Toad. Um, and I already know what's in the back. It's gonna be G Fisk in the back, because he, I mean, like, uh, besides Cresselia, this is my only Swampert answer. Um, honestly, I'm kind of surprised there he say swaps this. Though I did not, I don't think I used uh, Grass Knot anyway so far on Cresselia. Uh, I'm hoping this is a. Uh, an earthquake so I can farm this down. I don't really need switch, but what I do here is I thought for some reason I had Cresselia in the back and not uh, <laughs> I thought G Fisk. So uh, yeah, I come down to farm down with uh, with G Fisk. Um, since I, I know it's or expect G Fisk in the back, um, I, I know earthquake earthquake doesn't worry no, so I know should there. I kind of want to catch there, but let's say I fail, um, I catch a Momblas and it would suck. He grass nuts me again. I'll swap here. I know it's, let's see it's G Fisk. So uh, I win the straight Dark Pulse. But I also have an Earthquake loaded, which I can use to get a shield from him. So we'll just go for this. Uh, one thing to really. Look, I deny another move. It's, it was This match was gross. This match was really gross. And honestly, if he sneaks in one move, I really don't mind. <laughs> I really don't mind. Because. My advantage here was, was so stupid. My advantage was really stupid. Not even talking about Tinkom. My Tinkom was decent too against him. But uh, the sneak ins and denials were just stupid. So I used the shield there. Uh, I will swap into Jeefus right away. I think I already know what he's doing here. Uh, I'm really afraid of a timeout. Ultra League matches really get to timeouts quickly with tanky and spammy mons. The more I play Ultra, the more I like Charmers. <laughs> Because they finished the mess, the match fast at least. Uh, he baits me, good play. Um, so here's the thing, and you'll see this in the end. It doesn't matter if he baits me or not. It does not matter at all because um, in the end, it's gonna be about who has the most most HP, right? Um, I want to farm down. My idea was Dark Pulse, farm down the Crest, but Crest is so bulky. It's not really possible, so I have to throw an aerial ace. Timer's almost up. He he was very close to move, and I uh, get to low HP. So whether he goes for moon blasts or grass knots, there. I mean, he needs to throw that rock slide in the end anyway. Um, but yeah, let let's say I don't shoot them. It still doesn't matter. I lose on HP there. So what do I do now? Uh, we did not see the scrafty anymore. I think I uh, I made him pretty. Afraid of that. I also showed my Politoed this time, knowing uh, or giving a signal to him that I know you're using G Fisk and you're gonna use it again probably. Um, I bring a Pokemon I built this weekend. <laughs> I didn't even have it. Oh, well, I mean, I did have it, um, but I never played with it, so I wasn't really prepared at all. Um, since he locked in really fast, I expect the same team really, so swap with G Fisk in the back again. Um, he also stays in, going to chip for me. Um, another disgusting thing I just did here was fake CMP. This should not happen. But again, I was really... My opponent uh, played really well. He deserved more. He deserved way more. You know, I'm gonna take the win, of course. Uh, because, yeah, that's the mechanics right now. Um, but I, I get the, the sneak... I mean, actually, you sneaked win in one match shot. So, you know, that's, that's good. That's good for him. That's good for him. But, you know, I get all the, the denials, I get all the sneak-ins, I get the fake CMP that I need. Um, since we got two charge moves off in my uh, during my swap-in, uh, he gets on a mushroom, by the way, very good uh, for him. <laughs> I really don't feel salty about it at all. But our clocks are misaligned pretty much there, like half. So I'm trying to get as many damage in as possible while he's in there. Uh, I know he has grass knot here. Ideally, I want to catch the grass knot on Mandy but uh, I think my timer barely wasn't up he needs like two more I believe but he didn't throw or I miscounted either way I tried to catch again but I fail uh, going for the dark pulse here to get, take it out but he, let, he does not uh, let it go um, again if people start shooting half dead mons 
or almost dead months. I expect them to uh, to try to time me out or to keep that in mind. Uh, I got the, the attack the the attack drop not great. I also think I should could have reached the dark boss there, so would have been nice. It's, it's get kind of tricky here now because he still has a stun fist left. Um, I can kill the stun fist with a what's it called with a brave bird, but then the hydro will kill me, so I have to swap then. And here's what I do: I try to catch this, but which I do actually. I do. He overformed by one either way, but you know I catch it, so that's nice. Uh, throw this immediately because that'll get him into one gust range. Um, and he, I mean, I wanted to throw this anyway. <laughs> I wanted to get rid of this this Cresselia before he takes me out. Because let's say um, he would have a rock slide and a hydro, I, I lose. So I had to take it out immediately. I had to keep this poly to the life to make him burn his energy. But now the timer comes up. I wait a little just to see how far the timer is. I may have even taken a rock slide if necessary. Um, but the start of the time was up. I brave bird and that uh, beats this this G Fisk uh, and the swamp could not throw a move at all. Uh, I don't know if he had one, uh, but if not for the timer, he would have won that uh, for sure. Um, I also think I could have had the second game, but uh, yeah, you know, mistakes happen. Uh, I swapped in the wrong mon, and we'll see if that costs us. <laughs> I mean. After an 0-3 for me last time, I'm glad I have a 2-1. Uh, it's unfortunate my opponent still has a has a loss streak, even though he plays really well. Uh, and I can figure it can be frustrating and difficult to compete without uh, the big excels that I and others, other Ultra League specialists do have. Um, so yeah, that was uh, for, for, for about 5. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video next week. Have a good one.